Hello, and welcome to the next video to support response to the Annual Integrated Economic Survey, the AIES. In this video, I will provide an overview of Step 3 of the survey, providing detailed data using an online survey spreadsheet. At this point in the survey, you will be given a choice on how to provide more detailed data about your company. You can choose to download a customized response spreadsheet to your computer. You will enter the answers into that spreadsheet and then upload the completed spreadsheet back to this survey. There is more information about this method in another video in this series. You can also choose to use an online survey spreadsheet to enter your response. This spreadsheet is not downloaded to your computer, it's generated online. This video will cover more information about the online spreadsheet. The online response method has some pros and cons to consider. On the one hand, you will not have to download anything to your own computer if you use the online spreadsheet. This could be particularly helpful if your company has extensive firewalls or prohibitions against downloads. On the other hand, the online spreadsheet may not perform well within your company's browser settings. This could be particularly challenging if you're using a lower speed or sporadic internet connection. Likewise, the download spreadsheet will include all of the features of whatever software your company uses to open these types of files. But note that some of the formatting may be off due to differences in which program you use. This could be particularly challenging if your company is using open source software to handle Excel or CSV files. At the same time, the online spreadsheet does not have many of the same features as proprietary software, so it may be challenging to navigate, especially if you have many locations. If you select to use the online response spreadsheet, click the Start button on the left of the screen under that option, here. This screen is the online response spreadsheet for my fictional company. You should review the information on this screen carefully before responding. Also on this screen are frequently asked questions at the top of the page. To access the response to each question, select the plus button. To hide the text, select the minus button. You can read more information about completing your survey by clicking on the More Information link at the top of the screen. There are several tabs across the top, including an Instruction tab that gives additional information about providing a response, the Detailed Data tab containing most of the questions for this survey, the Product Data tab that asks about revenue for specific products, but is not asked of all companies, and the Check Data tab to check for survey completeness. Let's investigate the Detailed Data tab now. Here on the left, you can see the locations that make up this company. Note that the updates from Step 1 are captured here, including the establishment that we added in Step 1. Along the top, in each of the columns, we have listed the questions. Note that the first row contains the topic of the question. The second row has the question text. The third row includes additional information for response. Click on the circled I button to expand out to a listing of additional information about the question, including additional instructions. If we scroll to the right, we encounter questions that are grayed out. These questions do not require a response for that specific location. You cannot enter data into grayed out cells. You can filter your list of establishments by name, address, city, state, or zip code, or by response to any of the questions by using the down arrow button. Here, I'll filter my locations to show only those located in Ohio. And here, I'll click on the same button and select Select All to clear the filter. You can copy and paste data between cells by clicking in a cell, holding down the Control button and the letter C button on keyboard, then clicking an empty cell and holding down the Control button and the letter V button on your keyboard. You can also autofill information by clicking in the lower right corner and dragging the value down. Some questions should be answered for each location. Others are answered for groups of locations based on what they do or make. This company makes or does more than one type of thing, and so it has more than one kind of activity unit, or KAU. KAUs are groups of locations that do or make the same thing. You can easily identify a KAU in your spreadsheet because it does not have a corresponding name or address information in the row. You can also look at the ID column. Those that begin with a three are KAUs. But how do we know which locations go with which KAU? To determine this, first filter on the primary business or activity description column. Here, we select all of the locations for industry 561320 temporary help services. Click OK. Now you can see that there are two locations for this one KAU. Now we can see more clearly which questions need to be answered for which locations, like this one and this one, and which questions need to be answered for KAUs, like this one. 
In those places where we need to enter KAU data, it's the sum of the locations. For those places where we need to enter data by location, you'll see that it's grayed out at the KAU and available at the location level. This question needs to be answered both for each location and for the sum of those locations, the KAU. For some more complex companies, you may filter on a primary business or activity code and see more than one KAU listed. In these cases, you need to filter on additional information. Please reference the instruction tab for more information. One unique feature of the AIES is that it collects information at three levels. We've already provided the company level information that was in step two. Now we're being asked to provide information at the establishment level or locations or at the KAU level or groups of locations. If we scroll through this company's spreadsheet, we'll see that most information is requested at the KAU level, but it's dependent upon what your company does or makes. You can see that most questions are grayed out at the location level and are collecting information at the KAU level. Once you have answered all of the questions, you will go to the Check Data tab at the top. Clicking this button runs a review of your responses. If you're missing any critical items or have provided unexpected responses that may be an error, you will get a message alerting you to the issue and how to fix it. You cannot submit your responses until you fix all of the outstanding errors. When you're ready to move on, click Save and Continue. You will see a Remarks screen where you can add any information you think would be helpful to the Census Bureau as we review your responses. Click Save and Continue when you have entered your remarks. This is the final screen for the survey. Here, you will fill in your contact information in case we have any questions or need to follow up with you. We are also asking you to estimate the amount of time it took you overall in hours to complete the survey. From here, click Save and Continue. Here, you'll click Submit, and you'll be taken to a screen that signifies that you have met your reporting obligation to the Annual Integrated Economic Survey. Thank you for your response. This concludes this response support video. For more information on the AIES, please visit our website at census.gov AIES. For additional help completing the AIES, please call our help desk at 1-800-681-3012. Thank you for your time and attention.